How's it all going? How's it all going? How's it all going? I hope you had a fantastic week, guys. Uh, let me fix my chair. <laughs> I see Chris is in the house. Robert is in as well. Let's shut this up a little bit. Robert is in the house. Bonjour, bonjour. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Look. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. So, yeah, I was just looking up for, for a book that has a quote that I want to talk about, especially today, guys. Um, it's, it's, it's a book from, uh, what's his name? Uh, T. Hav. And then he talks about the secrets of how people are actually, um, you know, getting by. I see Grace is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in as well. All right. Um, let me just read it for you. It says, Rich people focus on opportunities, poor people focus on obstacles, all right? Rich people focus on these opportunities and rich people actually do not see a potential for growth. People see potential in loss and rich people fo focus on rewards and rich people focus on risks. Um, it can come down to the old conclusion, is the half glass empty or half Full, all right. I did not do a good service of reading there because obviously English is not my first language. But what I really, really wanted us to talk about today is looking at 2018. All right. If you haven't done anything towards your Christmas campaigns, towards your Thanksgiving campaigns, towards your 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 Black Friday campaigns, forget about it. Start looking for February campaigns or January campaigns. All things that you're going to be doing in March of next year. The reason being, oh, I don't want to lie to you guys. If you want to make money today on the internet, you should have done that three months ago. All right? I'm going to repeat that. That's a prosper thing to do. If you want to make money today, you should have started working three months ago. So now let's count three months from now. Where are we headed to? So we've got September, which is already finished. September, October, November, December. You only have three months up until 2018, all right? So if you really want a very big Valentine's breakaway or a Valentine's, um, you, know, uh, you know, success in sales, you want to start working right about now, all right? So I see Joe Stacy has just tuned in. Thank you so much, and I really hope you get well soon. We are fast approaching 2018. All right. This is now the time to actually really sit down and look at 2017. Have I achieved what I wanted to achieve? Am I where I want to be? Do I know the people that will take me there? Do I know what my product is? Do I know what my services are? Do I know the people that want those products? Do I know what problems or frustrations those people are going through? All right. So 2017 was warm up, guys, for the people that I'm working with. Unless you're lazy and you're a thief and you just amount to nothing in your business and you're just playing with yourself then maybe what i'm about to say is not going to help you the reason being if you really want to make money today on the internet you should have started working three months ago because you're dealing with people you're dealing with systems you're dealing with algorithms all of that needs time to be well oiled well put together etc etc all right so Today, that's why I want to talk to you about your 2018 resolutions. And we're not going to talk about them as resolutions. You know why? Because at the end of the day, you will never follow them through if you call them resolutions. I want you to start planning your 2018 this week up until the end of the year. You know why? You are no longer going to be, um, you know, unprepared and you are not going to be surprised by the things that are going to come your way. All right, we're rapidly approaching the new year and it's time to start thinking about those resolutions or what it is that you want your 2018 to look like. You already know how much money you've made this year. Maybe you want to double it. You've already know, you already know how much um, contribution you can make as a person, how many resources you want, etc., etc. So now is the time to actually look at what 2018 is going to be for you and those that are around you, whether in business or in your private life, okay? Robert, thank you so much for tuning in. And Vivek, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're going to be watching this video up until the end, please share this. For me, it's not a popularity contest. I really want to help people to start, scale, and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable, okay? So, like I'm saying, guys, excuses sound best to the person that's saying them. 
Right about now, you might be having a lot of excuses about why 2017 didn't work. What are your excuses going to be in 2018? You've known me. You've known all the books that you can read. You know all the resources that you can use. You have no nothing to stand on except your laziness in the next year to come. Am I right or am I wrong? Because reason, you either have two things whenever you're starting a business. You either have reasons or you either have results. 2017, you know, you can forgive yourself. You were learning everything else. Even if you were a seasoned business person, 2017 was not a really good year for a lot of people. And I know that. But it was, it, you should have used that as training ground for what's to come. 2018 is something new. 2018 is when you're probably going to crack that six figures. 2018 is probably when you're actually going to have freedom within your business. 2018 is when you're actually going to not have any shit clients. You know why? Because you now know who really needs your product. You now know who you sell to. You now know who exactly understands your message. But the problem, the problem with all of us is we, we, we leave it up until the last minute. All right, we leave it up until the last minute. Just about, I'll give you a perfect example. Over the weekend, it was my wife's birthday, all right? We celebrated, it was all good, but it was a Sunday and a lot of places were already pre-booked. So if I had left it up until the last minute, we probably wouldn't have had a place for dinner. I probably would have not cleared my schedule so that I don't have people calling me and would not have planned ahead. Now, can you imagine how many other things that are happening within your private life and also in your business that you're not planning ahead only because you don't know what to anticipate? Take what you have right now in, um, in, 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 in 2017 and put it down on paper. What have you achieved? Who have you connected to? And what have they brought to you? And what have you learned from them? Yeah. Um, Barbara says, jumper, you cold, prosper, almost 30 degrees in Queensland, windy and very dry here. <laughs> it is freezing in Melbourne. Um, it was actually raining before we started this. I was playing outside with my little girl. Okay. Right. So like I said, you either going to enter in 2018 with reasons or with results. All right. Look at how fast this year has gone. It's already September, September, October, November. Now it's December, Christmas. There's going to be, um, you know, New Year's Eve. And then pretty much after that, you're already expected to restart the year again. That's another 365 days that if you're going to go in without a proper plan, without a proper schedule, without a proper reason, you will fall flat on your face. You're going to fall flat on your face. All right. And then a lot of people would leave it up until it's resolutions. But most of the times resolutions already have a stigma. All right. Of not being followed. How many of you guys even follow their resolutions past February? So this is what I want you to work on right now. You want to have results in 2018 and we got to start working right now to figure out who your what your brand is going to look like. What your social media is going to look like? What presence are you going to, you know, do? Because a lot of us just want the whole, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. Yes, I'm, I'm hustling. But what are you hustling? If I ask you what your three month, four month, six month plan is, I don't think a lot of us have that. All right. So, you know, the problem with us, you know, thinking far ahead, often you will fail. Do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we, we set ourselves up with unrealistic and unreasonable goals. You know why? Because we've only given us a very small time to accomplish them. I know we, we're all entrepreneurs. We're always trying to conquer the unconquerable. We're always telling each other that, you know, nothing is impossible. But I want you to win 2018 starting from now. All right. Even if you don't start in September, but at least somewhere in 2017, you know why that gives you a, a three months or two months ahead of your competition. Right now, everybody right now is trying to create maybe a Christmas plan or a Christmas. Um, what do you call it? A Christmas campaign or a Thanksgiving campaign or, or Black Friday campaign. If you haven't got the pictures for the campaigns right now, if you haven't got the strategy right now, don't even bother. You're wasting your time, money and effort. Right now, you should be looking at what are you doing for Valentine's and what are you going to be doing in the first weeks of January? 
That's how you're going to win because you're going to take time to really look at the, for Facebook to pick up the algorithms. It's going to take a while for, for all of these things to start working for you to be comfortable with your messaging, etc., etc., up until people are actually purchasing and buying from you. All right? So if you set goals that are achievable and if you stretch yourself, your new year will start off with ease without the pressure of, you know, wanting to make as many sales as possible. You know why? Because everybody else is doing it. What they don't tell you is they've been planning months behind. They've been planning months ahead. And this is the time for you to really look at. This is 2017. I know who I need to attract. I know how to attract them. I know how they respond. And now it's time to go get them. Yeah? For me, New Year's resolutions, you know, they can be valuable to just assist in determining the, the, the long-term success, but they're useless. All right? There's, there's a few things that you really, really have to start looking at because everyone is coming up with re reasons not to have achieved anything in, the, in, in 2017. Excuses sound best to the person who's saying them. Nobody cares that things were not aligned. Nobody cares that you were ill prepared. Now I'm giving you an opportunity to start working for 2018 and knowing what your end goal is going to be. All right. There's a few things that you really got to start looking at. First of all, it's your finances. Second of all, it's your, the tools that you're using within your business. Third is the people that you're going to be working around, your customers and how you personally are going to be working. All right. Don't think that just understanding the basics of accounting is necessary just because you probably have an accountant or you probably have your own, you know, accounting department within within your your your, your little business. The thing is, as an entrepreneur, you really have to familiarize yourself with at least four or five different accounting basics. What will this help you? This will help you make financial predictions. You actually start examining what revenues you're going to be making in the years to come. What did you make this year and how did it come in? All right. So you would know what future operating costs you're going to be operating on. You'd know what future assets you need in order to service your future demand. All of those things. You can't just wake up and, and automatically it's happening. All right. And when it comes to 2018, you really got to go in knowing that you've probably paid off your bad debt. How are you going to know that if you don't know what your financial standpoint is? How are you going to lower the expenses as much as possible so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable? How are you going to know all of those things? So right about now, it's time to actually start measuring the progress you've done in 27, uh, 2017. So that you know whether you're hitting your targets or you're not. Because everybody wants six-figure business a year or more or, you know, or, or multi-million dollar business. But have you achieved that in 2017? If not, then how much did you fall short of? What do you need to do? Who do you need to speak to? If you're a dog, whose leg do you need to hump? So you, you want to make sure that you, you've got all that information available so that you know that your 2018 is going to be the best year possible. Nicole, how's it going, my love? Thanks for tuning in, by the way. And everybody else that's tuning in, if you're enjoying this content here, just share this video. It's not a popularity contest for me. There's an entrepreneur within your network that might just find this beneficial. So you could have done something that is um, of help for them. All right? We are all getting older. You know what a new year means? A new year means you're getting older, hairs are gray, getting, you know, lighter, and your health is at stake as well. What are you doing? Instead of just filling up your, your bank account, what are you doing for your health account? Because you can't do well if you don't feel well. So this is the time when you start looking into all the health habits that you're going to be, you know, looking at, at in 2018. Do you know what I mean? Improve your health. Look at exactly what it is that you're going to be doing. Because when it comes to the 1st of January, everybody's like, oh my God, I'm going to start going to the gym. Oh, I'm going to start doing a health thing. But it never, they never follow it through. You know why? 
because it was a resolution. But if you start now and say this, this is what it has been by the time it hits the 1st of January, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, normal and you're already in the habit. Hmm? So don't call them resolutions. You really got to start planning now. How do you expect to, effect, to, to, to sort of effectively run a business if you're exhausted and if you burn out? How do you expect to run a business when you're exhausted all the time? You need to be healthy mentally. You need to be healthy physically and emotionally. There's a lot of emotion that you need to be working around, especially around your customers, the people that you're going to be serving, etc., etc. Yeah? All right? So you want to give your immune system a boost, whatever way you're going to be doing it, start working towards that. Because if you leave it up until the 1st of January, right now, you're not going to follow through. And when you eat healthy and when you exercise, you're more productive and you're much more happier. How do you think I'm, I'm more than happy every time to come up and show up for 30 minutes with so much energy? It's because every Sunday I go out and I work out and, you know, during the week I'm doing stuff in, in and around. You know, good health habits will help you avoid a lot of, of, of these chronic diseases. You know, that include maybe your, your hypertension or some sort of diabetes. And you, you, you won't be able to follow through on your dreams. So you want to make sure that right now you start looking into your health. You start looking into your accounts. 2017 is up and done with. Don't worry about Christmas. Don't worry about Black Friday. Because you've already missed the boat on those sales. You won't. Make uh, you, you, you can come and prove me wrong because if you haven't prepared for them now, then don't worry about them. Stop worrying about January, stop worrying about February sales. Yeah, and in the process, build up your team, build up your network. Who are you going to be sitting around in 2018? Do you know right now? What groups are you going to be in in 2018? Do you know right now? What friendship circles are you going to be around in 2018? Do you know right now? Right? Because if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So this is what it's all about, guys. 2018 is upon us. I want you to know who really needs your product, who really needs your services, what frustrations are you going to be helping them in, and just start getting ready now for the next year to come. You, you got to start, you know, you, with your leadership skills right now. 2017 was just warm up. Now 2018 is the real deal. Prove everybody wrong. This is your opportunity. So I'm giving you the go ahead to start working now for what you're going to be in 2018. One of the things you need to work on is leadership. Become an effective leader. People are always looking for people to follow. Are you giving them an opportunity to follow you in the next year? Because right now, if you're going to be thinking that who you are right now is what people are going to follow, then you're completely wrong. One of the biggest, biggest, biggest challenges entrepreneurs face is becoming an effective leader. All right. This means your delegation of tasks. All right. How you rally your troops and how you rally your clients, how you rally your audience. How you create an environment that's welcoming, that's creative, and pretty much outside the box thinking. That's what people want now. Are you putting that in place for your strategy for next year? Never lose sight of where your business is going to go, guys. Right? So once you start having all these exciting things to look forward to, that will give you the motivation. I know today is a Monday, and a lot of people don't, don't really know if what they're doing is right. Start looking at doing for things for next year, and you will notice, oh my God, I'm way behind where I need to be, first of all, in my dreams, in my goals, professionally or, or in business. Thank you, everybody else, for tuning in. You all know that this is what, um, you know, this is what I like doing, helping you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And in the process, you know, you're actually having a business that, that actually matters. So you got to plan ahead for these things. I plan next year to double up on my live feeds 
First of all, I'm going to be creating a membership site. All of that is in place. We're launching, I think, first, um, first couple of weeks of January after I come back from my holiday. All of that is already in place. We know next year we're going to be getting more social than ever, but we're really going to be focusing on Facebook and Instagram. Every other social platform we're not going to care about. All of that is in place. All of the strategies, all the people, all the, all the, you know, the communities that we're going to be ru running around, what we're going to be selling, all of that for 2018 is already in place. What's left is now execution. And when you see me showing up every single day, you now get surprised. How does he do it? No, I plan ahead. And one other thing that you really want to do in 2018, guys, is to get more social. For some weird reason, you might believe that social media is not important, guys. But I've got some news for you. Yeah, I've got some really bad news for you. For 2018, if you're not anywhere around any social media platform, either doing lives, either really connecting and creating for your audience, then you might as well just close shop in 2017. It was good to have known you. If you think social media is not going to be a crucial part, Facebook is working day and night to make everything on the internet found within their own platform. So if you're not making your stand right now, if you're not planning ahead on how you're going to be seen, how you're going to be visible, then sure. I think they're giving away participation trophies at the end of the year. Congratulations. You just got yourself one. But if we're going to be seeing you in 2018... Social media is going to be one of the best ways to actually engage and interact with your customers. That's how you're going to be spreading awareness about your brand. And that's how you're going to be connecting with your influencers around, you know, your industry. So if you're going to have a Facebook, a Twitter, LinkedIn account, you know, that is dormant. Spend the next three months being active and optimizing those channels as is expected that you're going to be operating in 2018. Forget whatever you're doing. Forget whatever course you're on. Go and connect with the people that you're going to be claiming money off of in 2018. Yeah? That's, that's all I'm saying, guys. That's all I'm saying. You know? And in the process, learn more, live more, and contribute. That's what we're all here for on this entire universe here. Yeah. You're here to live. The more you live, the more you have content to put out on social media. But if you're just sitting in your office and you're not going out and you're not doing things that invoke you having a photo taken or a story told or people asking you or interacting with other entrepreneurs, then I'm afraid, you know, you're not going to you're not going to really do much. So 2018, make it the year that you're actually spending less time in the office and interacting with people you know, in, in, in real life or on, on, on the socials or whichever way you interact with people. The hustle days are over, guys. Those went with the years past. Now people really look at emotional connection, emotional intelligence, and do you actually have what it takes? All right. So you want to start leaving your brand. You want to start all of those things. You've got three months to start preparing for. So by the time everybody's raving their engines for 2018, you're just smiling on the side, just going, ah, oh, guess what? Prosper, high five. And I'll be passing by and I'll be saying, hmm, somebody did something there. All right. You want to start creating an environment where you are really, really connecting with people you're going to ask money off of. This whole automation, this whole Yaggity yag, it's probably not going to be working next year. The only automated things is going to be the cars, my friend. The more people are separated from, from everything that's around them, the more they're going to crave for human connection. So you want to set yourself up to be ready for when that happens. And that's the year of 2018, my friend. Look out for that. All the automated cars are going to come in. People are going to jump into them. But they're going to want to be connecting with people while they're driving to work. Now, would you be ready for that? Are you going to be the person who's going to be sitting on the other side, waving at them and, 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 and you know, giving them information and helping them have a business that's profitable, enjoyable? That's 2018 for you, my friend.
All right? So make time for yourself, friends, family, in friendships, in families. That's where most of our business comes from anyway. Step outside the office. You. I'm talking to Prosper here again. You know, and from time to time, clear your head. Find out what your customers are actually doing with their lives so that you can create and relate for them. And in the process, you remember I talked about health um, earlier. You know, that's the time you go out, you pick up a sport or something like that, or cycling, whatever is easier, that comes easy, and then you can improve your overall health. Trust me, 2018 is, is just getting started for a lot of people, but some people are just used to be a whack-a-mole. You don't want to be like that in 2018, guys. It's, it's scary, but it's going to be fun. So you want to start getting geared for it right now. So many new technologies are coming up. All right. How are you putting yourself ahead of your competition? How are you putting yourself in, in, in line with VR? How are you putting yourself in line with argumented reality? How are you putting in line with yourself to connect with the people of 2018? All you have is two things, guys. Results and reasons. A lot of people have reasons why they ain't shit. A lot of people have reasons why they ain't winning. Results is what matters, guys. All right? In the process, I really want to start working with people that know where they're heading to. I really want to start working with people that might have an idea what their 2018 is going to look like. We've got strategies that we're putting in place. We've got um, people that we're helping out. You can check out all the reviews of everybody I've had a conversation with. Everyone is on a trajectory of winning. All right. I want you to start earning a lot more money with less struggle. So if right now you're still unpacking a course that you think is going to help you in 2018, I think you need to look at what you did in the whole year of 2017. Figure out if any of that worked. What worked, you keep. What didn't work, discard. Because 2018 is a totally different animal and I'm going to be in there welcoming every single one of you. But if you're not going to work on your health, if you're not going to work on your social media, if you're not going to work on your um, finances, if you're not going to work on your connecting with people, like I've just said, it was nice. Send me your address so I can send you a Christmas card. Because that's the only participation trophy you will get for 2017. If you really want to take that scrappy little business of yours across to 2018, watch this video again, see what you're going to improve on, and guess what? Me and a couple of other guys are going to be around to welcome you, because 2018 is upon us. But if you really want to stand in 2018, you got to start working now, putting in the work now. All right, so if you're going to be maybe thinking what you did last year, you're going to repeat again, my friend. Like I said, send me your address. I'll send you a Christmas card. That's probably the only participation trophy you will get. All right. So far, this is the only motivation you probably get. The rest is probably going to be hogwash. I really want you to win. I really, really, there's laws to this. There's laws of cause and effect. You do something, you get something. There's left, there's right. Things just don't wake up and start happening. You work now, you get the results three months later. That's just how it's always been. And I want you to win. I want you to actually pick up your business right now from 2017 and you're landing in 2018 smiling with profit and actually enjoying to work in that, in that thing. But if you're not going to watch this video again or if you're just going to look at this like some motivation of some guy wearing a red jersey that you're just going to scroll past, good luck, mate. It's been nice knowing you. All right. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and I really, really, really want to see you guys starting to prepare and get ready for the coming year ahead. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye for now.